tonight on Big Brother. You were very cute. Drew and Jay, married and divorced. You look like the sort of guy that I'd probably go for. Are they getting back together again? <laughs> They're keen, but what do their friends think? She goes back to Drew. It looks bad on him. I'm like, you look like an idiot. It's early morning, and Mr. Clooney, the house's new pet, hasn't been home all night. He's restless and looking for a playmate. <laughs> mm. Morning, babe. <laughs> morning, Tully. Morning, Xavier. Morning. Hey, man. Matthew has spent his first night back in the halfway house after Michaela switched him for her in yesterday's nominee swap. I've never woken up beside a man before. Oh, yeah? No. I'm sick of trying to please everyone in here. Tim's woken up in a bad mood. The house politics are getting to him. I've just had this realisation this morning. I'm, I'm sick of it. Sick of feeling like, oh, I can't do that because that person will think this and that person will not like me. And, oh, I used to not even care. Well, let's see if we can get you back to not caring, because it was better. I'm afraid to go jump in the pool because I'll think, oh, Tim's in the pool again. Oh. Who? What? Everyone. Matthew, how was your first night back in the halfway house? Um, yeah, I think there's mixed, mixed emotions. Um, like obviously a lot are upset that I'm over here. Like Caleb was a bit really upset last night. Um, and then a lot are angry that um, Michaela's got another a second chance. That one's finished. One hour and 15 minutes. I think this kind of halfway life, ironically, suits me. There are some benefits, that's for sure. Yeah, I feel no, like I don't have any pressure to have to do anything physical. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it here. Two weeks in a row, you've been saved. Of course, it's the best experience. Yeah. Uh, look, guys, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, you're just not a cat. The cat. Meow. <coughs> Two lives now, you've got seven left. Meow. Meow. Look today. No, I don't. What's the matter? You've been a bit down the last couple of days. I don't know. Jade and Ed's kiss and Ed's rejection of her is still the talk of the house. How do you feel about stuff with Ed? What's happening there? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. My spoons. The forks. <laughs> forks. No, he, he, he definitely doesn't like me. If I was single in here, I would be making out with everybody, not really thinking too much about it. Like, whereas. Yeah, of course, pretty charming. Like, he's like, you know, thinking of people's feelings and worried <laughs> about, like, you know, the future and blah, 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 blah. So, like, what you probably saw is like a bit of fun. He's probably thinking, like, oh, but, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody and I don't want to do this, don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just sort of staying away from him at the moment and I feel like I'm, I've made him feel awkward and weird. So, I don't I just think that's really, the case. If he wants to come to me, he can. But... Coming up. Here's a better kisser. <laughs> to save Matthew, call 1902 SMS Matthew to 199 or vote on Facebook. To save Rohan, call 1902 SMS Rohan to 199 or vote on Facebook. Big Brother brought to you by Spot Jobs with flexible positions available at some of Australia's biggest companies. Spot yours today at spotjobs.com. And if something's cool, it's legit. Oh, legit. Mm. Too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. Bro. I don't, I, I really don't know slang. Ben's getting a lesson on youth lingo. 
So, for example, if I'm, hung I'm hungry now, I could go, I am so hashtag hungry. Do people like, I don't know, does that, is that what they do? It works. Like, do you go, I am so hashtag sleepy? See, most people don't put hashtag in a sentence. Oh. You just come out with a phrase or oh. what you're feeling. You're feeling sleepy, you just barge into the room, you yawn, and then you say hashtag sleepy. Okay, so if, okay, I'm so really sleepy and I go, oh, hashtag sleepy. Perfect. Oh, okay. So I, I heaps of talking for reals, yo, that cause YOLO, Roffle, and IMHO, it's pretty cray. Mm. I just think people are sounding, I don't understand any of that. I just think people are sounding like text messages now. Pretty much. Yeah, like we've been, we've been abbreviating. I kind of see it as a s art form. Mm. Hashtag chow. Hashtag later. Hashtag grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Does this bra look stupid? Yeah. Sorry, I just realized my underwear is actually quite see-through. Oops. Your underwear? Mm. Is it? Didn't look. Good. I know you don't like naked chicks, so I thought I'd put on some. I never said that. <laughs> so who's a better kisser? Hey. Who's a better kisser? Now, Jade, I can't be saying that, can I? <laughs> then I wouldn't be being true to what my mum told me. Fine, it was Jasmine. <laughs> I'll leave you guessing. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> Would you call yourself selfish? If that's a word, I personally would not. Before they're locked away for three months, housemates are asked if there's any news from the outside world that they would want to be told should something unexpected happen in their lives. I only put down one thing, and that was when the launch of the new iPhone comes out, and that was it. What about death? Yeah, I was just like... I'm that. Shut up. If one of them died, you wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't leave here. Even if they felt that we're going to override this the and tell him. The launch of the new iPhone. I think it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward Is to that. Is that a joke? No. No. And what, it, ignoring I that, ignoring I that, I wouldn't leave. Head. I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave. Even Would if you leave for the iPhone? No, because I'll get it when I get out. So if your they... girlfriend died, you would not leave to go to her funeral. Heaven forbid. Yeah, I wouldn't leave. That is a that is a lie, Rohan. That is not true. Rohan, why? Why are you like this? That's oh. not normal to me. I've I found some things about myself that I wasn't expecting. I'm, I'm very open with how I am emotionally and well at least talking about it if not feeling it and I think that's quite important for me and I haven't really done that before in my 23 years. I would like to explore that in depth. Some people are quite interested in, in helping me out with my emotions and expression and I think it's a positive thing for me as a person and that's always at the back of my mind of how I can improve and how I can be better to those around me. To save to Han, call 1902 SMS to Han to 199 or vote on Facebook. To save Tully, call 1902 SMS Tully to 199 or vote on Facebook. Go the words that the friends that you've learned okay, go. He said today... Ben's been practicing his slang language courtesy of Rohan's tutoring. So you've learnt for shiz. For shiz. YOLO. Bitches be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell the one. Boer. Oh. Booerns. Booerns. What's that? It's From Simpsons. Simpsons. But he said like a gay man rather than be like booer. It's like booerns. <laughs> Put a little silence go. Do it. I just feel silly talking gang. It's fine. Do, do, do it. Do it. It's not gang. Do it. It's your own.
Mess with me, I mess you up. Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just, I don't even. It doesn't even make any sense. It's just the way you do it, Spotty. Mm. Uh, oh. I don't know, gangster. Okay, what? Let's go to the hole. Yeah, right. Oh, I've been waiting to sit in this hole. Drew and Jade have been spending more and more time together, and in the Big Brother house, not much is private. And then just Drew and Jade. Even with that hole, everyone joking about, you know, the, the crystal ball, how Heidi was like, do you think those two are going to sleep in the same bed or whatever? And then Ed was like, yeah, yeah. And then he backed out completely. Like, I'd just taken what, it as a joke. I love Jade, but my big thing is, and I've told you this, I'm like, now that, you know, if Ed has actually said, not going to happen, mm. if she goes back to Drew... It looks bad on him. I'm like, you look like an idiot. Mm -hmm. I just see her where. Yeah. You look like a foolish idiot. And she's just come back to you because Ed said no. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, no. I'm like, but you, you flirt with her. Like, you got to put it... Either decide, okay, I don't care, and go along with it and do whatever you want and have fun. Like, hats off to you, have a good yeah. time, but be aware that what it might look like on the outside. Yeah. Or put your foot down and don't let her use you. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, you know, we'll get into bed, he might cuddle me, everyone will have a good laugh and we'll go to sleep. You were stoked. Don't, be, don't lie to me. <laughs> I really don't care, to be honest, but. And now he's so awkward around me. He, like, bounces around the house. I know. It's really awkward. It's funny. No, it's not. <laughs> um, and now he's with Jasmine all the time, so people think that they're having a thing. And now I'm jealous and you're jealous. You didn't get but, rejected a lot, do you? Huh? So you don't get rejected a lot? I get rejected a lot. No, you do uh, hello. You My were... ex left me for another chick that was butt ugly and spent the last six, eight months of our relationship not Stop. telling me he loves me and Stop. not kissing me in public Stop. because he didn't Stop. want to see me. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I've had my share of being humiliated. I think it's good on her behalf if she's doing it for strategy so people watching go, ah, oh, see what happens with them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's good strategy. But I still... I just don't want to get hurt. I love him to pieces, and um, I just don't want him. To, I think, I think he cares about her more than he lets on. Yeah, and I can see that too mm. from an outsider who's just got peripherals. I've just been watching. I've just been observing the last couple of days. Yeah, I was a better husband than you were, wife. I was an excellent wife. I was better. <laughs> you looked very cute. You looked like the sort of guy that I'd probably go for. You were very cute. What a lad, me. Coming up. The whole thing is weird because I've never really had such mixed signals from someone. To save Xavier, call 1902 SMS Xavier to 199 or vote on Facebook. To save Ben, call 1902 SMS Ben to 199 or vote on Facebook. Tully pulls Drew aside to warn him about her feelings on the Jade situation. But it's a deal. I... You love this, don't you? <laughs> no, it's the you whole... You do. You no. can't even keep a straight face. The whole thing is weird because I've never really had such mixed signals from someone. That's, I, see, I don't understand her, her intentions. Why don't you ask her? What am I supposed to say? Make a joke, be like, so Ed turned you down, so you've come back to me. See, that's very aggressive. Well, that's what's happened. I hate to break it to you. I just think that you need to figure out what... I don't want you to look like an idiot. Oh, as I said, it's too late. But I don't need to add petrol to that fire. By any means. Drew's still out there. I just, I'm sorry, but I think you've lost him. Yeah, I, I said that to Big Brother today. I'm like, I'm not, like... But somebody's not going to have. I'm not sad, that sad that, like, we don't have as much time together anymore. Because whenever we do hang out, it's still exactly the same. So I'm just sad that he seems to have, once again, 
being charmed by a girl, like. The nicest thing about it is. The affection. Just the affection. I don't know what, I'm, I'm a big. Affectionate person. Well, I just like. A cuddle. I get, I get girlfriended up so easily. Mm. Same. Yeah. It's kind of like a disposable girlfriend. Mm. Wouldn't repeat that to anybody else, but yes, I get you. If you could buy a can of affection in, in here, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. It's, it's like an per. It's not real. For an affection. Affection. Yeah. It's not real. I don't think all parties involved know that, but like, it's just... I mean, I'm not going to get it from... Heidi. Mm. We're gonna get it from Jazz. Get it from Tarn. Oh. <laughs> what up from Tarn? Michaela, you know. Your old girlfriend it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're on the wrong side of the fence anyway. Oh, I can't say <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the fence. Um, yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're in here. Same. Like, what's in it for him? Two needy girls? Is he wasting a lot of time? I was wondering how I could ever beat him. This is it. What do you mean? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait, I'll see you again. Oh, hey. That's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I'll see you after the gym. <laughs> Night, mate. <laughs> <laughs> With most of the house going to bed, Tim finally gets his Drew time. They've hatched a plan to frame Mr. Clooney. I was dropping some hints saying, oh, what if the dog starts taking our things? Yeah, I heard that. That was good. <laughs> what are we going to like? Spread them out like a string? Or... Same. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.